Hi guys, my name is Gina James Scott and welcome to episode 11 of Mean Girls Spring Break. We are almost at the end, we only have one more episode left after today. In the last episode, we won the Greek Games, but then Cell Service came back to St. Jezebel, which means people have now found out that we are not Regina George, we are in fact Gina James Scott. Let's get started with this episode. Oh no. Please don't. That girl down there who's been dazzling the crowd all week. She's not Regina George at all. She's an imposter. This is where we left off last episode. What the hell is going on here? Uh oh. It's a long story. I'm just astonished. Apologise or explain why we did it. Mm. Should we just apologise? Mm. Let's explain. We had no other choice. We thought the real Regina ditched Damien in the competition and I've heard enough. Uh oh. She's not impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, the University of Evanston has hereby been stripped of their award and suspended from the National Greek Conference until further investigations. Oh no! Mm. <laughs> Stacey's all loving it. The party is over. Please make your way out of the ballroom in an orderly fashion. I'd like to ask three delegates to stay behind, please. Stacey... Ooh, these have got complicated surnames. <laughs> Stacey on a... Basically the three Stacys. Let's just go with that. The three Stacys. Ooh. Tell me your real name. It's Greenoid. Greenoid Gemsicle. Well, Greenoid Gemsicle, you and Damien will meet me and the rest of the Greek Council here in two hours for a hearing. A hearing? The Greek Council is going to determine who is the rightful winner. Couldn't we do this tomorrow morning? No, Damien, this ends tonight. Ooh, so we've got a hearing. We may get our title back. Oh, here's the real Regina. She looks sad. Mika looks sad. Everyone looks sad. Some spring break. Smoothie guy never wants to see me again. And a $100,000 scholarship just went down the drain. At least you didn't max out your credit card on a last minute flight to find your girlfriend making out with some other guy. <laughs> because I thought you dumped me. I still can't believe you really thought I'd dump you over text. Well, the message seemed pretty clear at the time. Apologise, tell Mika to get over it. I mean... Should we just tell him to get over it? But he's, um, let's apologise. Mika, I'm sorry. I know how this must look, but you have to understand that I got hurt here too. You didn't look very hurt to me. That's not fair. Can we please save it for after the hearing? Do you realise how screwed we are? Well, maybe you shouldn't have forced me to go along with your plan, Damien. Forced you? Excuse me, last time I checked, you had something called free will. Well, it was your idea, and you put on that wig and danced around with Regina George for a week. Everyone just shut up! Am I the only person on this entire island that isn't completely incompetent? Real helpful, Regina. I mean it. If you people had just left me alone, we wouldn't be in this mess. It doesn't help to play the blame game, Regina. Ha! Huh. Then what were you just doing with Damien Greenoid? She got a point there. Exactly. Uh -huh. May I remind you that some people have real problems. The love of my life, Count Travis Antonio, is dealing with his parents' kidnapping. I'm lending him some money for the ransom. He's totally going to pay me back. Gretchen, stop trying to make Count Travis Antonio happen. Are you kidding me? It was a breeze. The strudel queen fell right into my trap. 
<sighs> uh huh. She's giving me the full ninety thousand dollars in cash. I'm telling you, this is the easiest con I've ever run. Bad guy. <gasps> did they hear him? This is our last adventure. No, I don't think they did hear him. Sneaking into this fancy pool. You game? Definitely. Damien, I'm seriously freaking out. It's almost time for the hearing with the Greek Council. I can't believe I got caught impersonating Regina. But that's something you thought you'd never say. <laughs> Serves you two losers right. Everyone knows there is only one Regina George. Remind me to thank Mr and Mrs George the next time I see them. <laughs> Ready to go and face the firing squad? No. But I'm guessing we don't have much of a choice. You're not going anywhere, Greenoid. Uh, I kind of have to, Regina. And if we want any shot at the Greek campus of the year, not to mention the $100,000 scholarship. Yes, I know. Split between you so you can both graduate debt free. Seriously, how many times are you going to mention that? I'm talking about your outfit, Greenoid. What's wrong with this outfit? How can you go wrong in basic black? Okay, but it's your funeral. I hate to admit it, but Regina's got a point. If Cherise sees that you took the time to dress for the occasion, it will go a long way. Okay, what do you suggest I change into? I'd suggest the simple yet elegant ensemble that I brought along for the conference until somebody hijacked my identity and stole my place so I couldn't even wear it. <laughs> Fine, I'll go try it on. This is going to be a gem moment, isn't it? Better? I'll say, much better. Damien? Most definitely. This look will show Cerise that we're taking this seriously. Oh, dress for the occasion is 30 gems. We only have 25 left. So, we're going to be where? I think I'll just wear what I wore to the gala. Your call, Gemsico. I wonder if that's going to make any difference to the outcome of this. If you have chosen a different option there, if you are playing this game, if you have worn that dress, let me know if, if it is any diff if your story then is any different to my story. Thanks for coming with me. I needed the moral support. Yeah, well, I don't exactly think we're finished talking about what happened back there. I know. Mika, honestly, I was just starting to come to terms with the fact that we were over when you suddenly showed up. I'm sure this past week's been pretty crazy for you. This whole vacation's been an emotional roller coaster, impersonating Regina and feeling dumped. Which was worse? Um, oh, let's say being dumped. Are you kidding? When I thought you dumped me, it was the worst I've ever felt. Even worse than squeezing into Regina's shoes. Also painful, yes. <laughs> Not to mention stressful. But losing you, no contest. I'm sorry about all of this, Regina, my text. Look, Greenoid, I came all this way to see you and I'm going to stick by your side. Attention everyone, the hearing is about to begin. <gasps> there she is, the real Regina George in the flesh. I have to say, I thought she'd be prettier. I thought her hair would be nicer. I thought she'd have cuter clothes. That was weak. I'm embarrassed for you. And look at fake Regina. I mean, greenoid. She's wearing the exact same outfit she wore to the gala. Talk about showing a lack of respect for the Greek council. Uh-oh. Good adventure? Best adventure. Freeze! Oh, don't suppose you two are the same kids I just saw jump over the security fence? Oh, officer, let me explain. We've never done anything like this before. Our friends call us the boring couple and we, we were just trying to spice things up. That's enough out of you two. You're under arrest for trespassing. Send him back up. I've got a 1068, two suspects in custody. 
cause today you two are going downtown oh dear <laughs> as you can plainly see the national greek conference is no place for identity theft not only does miss gemsicle abuse our trust she made a masquerade of the national greek conference raise your hand if you feel personally victimized by being a gemsicle <laughs> i thought regina was putting up a hand then regina <laughs> kidding though she was putting up her hand <laughs> we rest our case thank you stacy and stacy and stacy miss gemsicle we are confused and frankly disappointed never in the history of the national greek conference has someone impersonated a delegate there are no laws in our charter to deal with this sort of issue which is why we called this hearing Miss Jemsicle? <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Cerise, but as the quote unquote victim of this whole thing, I think I have the right to say my piece. May I? I suppose you already are. <laughs> Thank you. Integrity, charity, sisterhood, these are the pillars of our sorority, Delta Mutau. Integrity that brought me to the National Greek Conference. I wanted to prove that I was the best of the best. And so I did charity. I was going to give my half of the $100,000 to my Delta Mutau sister, Greenoid. My annoying grandpa left me like a million dollars. But poor Greenoid is going to spend the rest of her life in student loan debt. And finally, sisterhood is the reason Greenoid covered for me when I went missing. What's more sisterly than that? So really, the question here isn't, did Greenoid steal my identity to compete? because obviously she did. The question is why she did it. She did it because she takes the pillars of Delta Mutau seriously and vowed to uphold them, whatever the cost. Miss Jemsicle, care to add anything before our final decision? Apologize or defend, let's apologize. Cherise, Rodney, Martina, I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry my actions disrupted the gala and I apologise for being dishonest with you in this competition. Very well, let's call it to vote. All those in favour of naming U of E winner of the National Greek Conference? Oh, oh. Two judges? We've won? I thought maybe we weren't going to find out till next episode. Shall we celebrate? I think a night out on the town is in order. We'll catch up with you guys. Suit yourself, loser. Thanks for standing up for me back there, Regina. I think you might have said the magic words. Don't mention it. If you need us, we'll be at the club dancing the night away. <laughs> so we won, that's amazing. I almost lost you last year when we got caught up in the drama of starting college. I don't want to lose you all over again because of some stupid text message misunderstanding. Are we cool? We're cool. Aww. Oh, here's Justin. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh my god, this guy again. Look, I just need a minute. Come on, man. Leave us alone. I'm sorry, but I really need to talk to Greenoid. Justin, you're really cool, but I need to talk to you about Gretchen. Gretchen? Greenoid, I'm an agent for the FBI. Whoa! I'm an agent for the FBI. Wasn't expecting that. I've been tracking a con man using the alias Count Travis Antonio for the past seven months. What? You're really cool, but I was mainly spending time with you to get closer to Gretchen and the Count. <laughs> this is a joke. Unfortunately, it's not, and your friend Gretchen is in real danger. Uh-oh. Ring, ring. Unknown number. Gretchen? Oh, Greenoid, thank God you picked up. Katie, what's going on? Where are you? Aaron and I got arrested for trespassing, and we're in jail. Uh-oh, it's all falling apart. All of our friends are in trouble. And that's the end, yeah, that is the end of the episode. So I think next episode, we're obviously gonna try and sort out Katie and Aaron and our 
and Gretchen as well. She is in a little bit of trouble there with Count Travis Antonio. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you join me for the final episode coming soon on the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell so you get notifications of when I upload a new video. And I will see you soon. Bye.